This is a close-up trick that can be done as a part of the trick. Has anybody here ever uh, bought a magic kit or had a magic kit? Huh? Those are old school. That's fine. Uh, this is using coins, a uh, silver dollar and a copper coin. Now, if you wanted to, you could stand up here. Not, no, <laughs> not that you're going to, but you, and I could do it for you close up. But because of the size of the coins, I'm able to do this for you sitting down just where you're at. And I'll show you what I mean. Watch. Silver coin and copper coin. Now, I'm going to make these two coins trade places right in front of your very eyes. Who wants to see that? <laughs> Everybody. Okay. <laughs> you're so cute. Um, do you want to see it visibly or invisibly? Visibly. 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 All right. You asked for it. Thank you. That was visibly. No. You want it invisibly? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. <laughs> see this switch. Oh, I know. You want to see it visually. Meaning that it might be invisible, but you'll actually see it jump or change places. Yeah. That's what you have to say. You have to say visually. There's a total different definition there. Silver coin. Right, Michael? Here's what I want you to do, Michael. I want you to say silver when I do this. Silver. Okay. Uh, Sarah, when I do this, you say copper. Copper. Okay, so I go... Silver. Copper. All right, and you say... Silver. And you say... Copper. All right, and you say... Silver. No, oh, that's copper. You're supposed to say, they switched. <laughs> Did you see them go? Uh-huh. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. I tell you what, watch close. Let's give them a shake. Cool. That's now silver, silver and that's now copper. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Now, you're probably asking yourself, are they jumping back and forth, or are they actually changing colors? Well, if they were changing colors, you would actually see this one turn silver and that one turn copper, or vice versa. So they're jumping. They're actually jumping. They're going from this hand to this hand. See, there's a coin, and there's one coin. They actually jump. Did you see that? Yeah. Look, if I just give them a shake, you'll see the other one just jump oh. right over <laughs> there. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Now, the question is, can you look at the coins? You just have to ask. All you have to do is ask, say, can I uh, look at the coins? That kind of almost, almost looks like that the bottom one looks like a copper. No, they're both. <laughs> that's them. Yeah, that's but you got to ask, can I see the coins? So All you got to do is ask. Can I see the coins? No. I, <laughs> I didn't say you could see them. I just said you could ask. No, I'll tell you why. It's not because I don't want you seeing the coins, because you'll figure it out. See, that's not even a copper coin or a silver coin. They're not even real. They're actually Chinese coins. What? Whoa! <laughs> I don't know how, but that just happens. What? What? Hi, I'm Karen Nicole Azarian with Did You Know That? Did you know that sharks are some of the ocean's most fascinating animals? There are around 350 different types of sharks that we know about. But researchers think there are still other sharks out there that we haven't discovered yet. Most sharks, as we know them today, developed about 64 million years ago during the age of the dinosaurs. Many people fear sharks because they're worried about shark attacks. But actually, most sharks are not dangerous. In fact, more people die by bee stings than by shark attacks. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Tara Nicole Azarian with Did You Know That? Until next time, Stay smart. Now, there was once a little boy who was not afraid of the dark at all. Not at all. In fact, he loved to visit his grandmother. Absolutely loved it because her house made all kinds of great noises. When you go up the stairs, the stairs go, Can you make that sound with me? Here we go. I love that. And the door on the room where he slept goes like this. Creep.
boom, make that sound with me. Here we go. Creak, boom. He loved it. Unless it was raining. Because when it was raining, make that sound with me. Here we go. Oh, those noises were kind of scary. And one night, the little boy was visiting his grandmother. And she said, all right, it's time to go to bed. He said, I don't want to go to bed. I said, it's time to go to bed. He said, I don't want to go to bed. She said, it is time to go to bed. He said, OK. And they went up three of those creaky stairs. Come up three stairs with me. Here we go. They went up three more of those stairs. They went up three more of those stairs. His grandma said, cut that out. She put the little boy in bed, pulled the covers up to his chin, kissed him on the forehead and said, night, night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. And she closed the squeaky door. Here we go. His grandma opened the door and said, you're driving me crazy. And I'm getting mad, mad, mad. Now, if, if I let the cat sleep with you, you won't be scared, will you, little boy said? No, no, not me. So Grandma went downstairs and put up the umbrella. She went out to the barn. <laughs> and she got the cat. She brought it back in the house. She put the cat down. She put the umbrella down. She picked the cat up. She brought it upstairs. She put it in the bed. OK, now who's in the bed now? The cat and the? little boy. Grandma pulled the covers up to his chin, kissed him on the forehead and said, night, night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. And she closed the squeaky door. Here we go. Creak, boom. How does the cat sound? And the little boy, Grandma opened the door and said, you can say this with me if you know what's going to happen. You're driving me crazy. And I'm getting mad, mad, mad. Now, if I let the dog sleep with you, you won't be scared, will you? Little boy said, no, no, not me. So Grandma went downstairs and put up her umbrella. Do it with me. Here we go. She went up to the barn. She got the dog out of the straw. She brought the dog back inside. She put the dog down. She put the umbrella down. She, she picked up the dog. She brought him upstairs. She put him in the bed. Who's in the bed now? The dog. The and the grandma. Say this with me. Pull the covers up to his chin. Kissed him on the forehead and said, night, night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And she closed the squeaky door. Reep! Boom! Ah. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> What's next? Ah. Meow, meow, meow. And now? Ah. <laughs> Grandma opened the door and she said, You're driving me. And I'm getting mad, mad, mad. Now, if I let the goat sleep with you, you won't be scared, will you? What does the little boy say? He says, no, no, not me. So grandma went downstairs. She got the umbrella. Here we go. She went out. She got the goat. She brought him back inside. She put the umbrella down. And she dried off the goat. She brought him upstairs and she put him in the bed. Okay, now who's in the bed now? The? Good. The? Great. And? And the? Great. Grandma pulled the covers up to his chin, kissed him on the forehead, and said, Night, night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And she closed the squeaky door. Here we go. Three. How's the goat sound? Nah, nah, nah. And the dog? Roof, 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 roof. And the? Yeah, meow, meow. And big, here we go. Ah! Grandma opened 
hospital and she said, you're driving me crazy. And I am getting mad, mad, mad. If I let the cow sleep with you, you won't be scared, will you? Little boy said, no, no, not me. So grandma went downstairs. She put up the umbrella. She went out, she got the cow. She brought the cow inside. She put the umbrella down. She dried the cow. She put the cow upstairs and put him in the bed. Crack! The bed broke into a hundred thousand million pieces. Grandma put all the animals back where they belonged. And then she went next door to the carpenter's house and she knocked on the door. Pop, pop, pop. The carpenter opened the door and said, can I help you? Grandma said, yes. I had all these animals in bed with my grandson and the bed broke into 100,000 million pieces. Can you fix it? And the carpenter said, no problem. And she got her tools and she came over and she fixed up that bed. <laughs> when she was done, she was leaving and she heard that door. Had a funny squeak in it. So she got out the oil can and oiled the door until it made this noise. And then Grandma put the little boy in bed. You can do this with me. Pulled the covers up to his chin, kissed him on the forehead, and said, Night, night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed box bite. And she closed. And that's the story of the squeaky door. <laughs>
So again, this is an electric bass guitar. So the next time you see one, I hope you pick it up and try it out. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Hi, I'm Miss Angel, and I'm here to teach you a brand new dance. I have my friends Layla and Brandon with me, and we're going to show you a fun new dance that you can do anytime. Are you ready? So our first dance we're going to learn is the roly poly. So you're going to take your arms up and you're just going to roll them like this. You're just going to roll them around each other away from your body. Now we're going to add the legs. So bend your knees, bend your knees. Now this time let's add the head. So you're going to bounce your head, roll your arms and bend your knees. Now, let's learn the basketball bounce. So take your hands to the side and you're going to push them down. So push, 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 and push, push. This time, let's add the legs. So bounce and bounce. Bounce and bounce. Now this last time, we're going to add the head. So we're going to bounce our head, push our arms, and bend our knees. So bounce, 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 and bounce. And for our last step, we're going to do the raise the roof. So you're going to take your hands up, and you're going to push them up and pull them back. Push them up, pull them back. Push them up, pull them back. Push them up, pull it back. And you know what comes next. We're going to bounce our knees. So we're going to push and push, push and push, push and push. Last time, push and push. There you have it. You just learned a whole new dance. So let's connect everything together from the roly-poly. So, roly-poly, 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 and bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Let's raise the roof. 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 You know what? I think we should do it one more time. So let's start from the roly poly. Roly poly, roly poly, roly poly, roly poly. Now bounce. 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 Let's raise the roof. Raise the roof, raise the roof, raise the roof, raise the roof. You did it! You just learned a brand new dance. So I hope I get to see you next time where I can teach you a whole nother dance. Keep dancing! I'm Carly Williams and this is Carly's Critters for Kid Time TV. Have you ever seen an elephant? The elephant is the largest animal on land, some weighing over 12,000 pounds. They have long ivory tusks, thick gray skin, and a trunk that can grow up to five feet. Let's take a look. We have four African elephants. They're all females. Uh, Robin and Belle and Petunia and Penny are our four females. They're all females. Uh, and uh, they just had a field day here at the zoo, just uh, rolling around. Belle and Penny had a field day with the coming of spring, uh, rolling around in the mud and getting themselves cooled off and keeping the bugs off. The bugs are out, the bees are out, and the animals are getting a little worked up by all these bees buzzing around, and so they're, they're trying to keep those away by spreading that, that mud and all that, all that dirt on them and, and cooling off in the, on this 
first one of these early warm sw spring days. Yes. So I heard that these elephants can step on an egg without breaking it. Why is this? That's correct. They're very agile and very sensitive animals. They um, have um, great sensitivity in their feet and they actually use their feet to communicate. They can sense the vibrations uh, through a form of communication that they use with each other across great distances across the savannas of Africa and Asia. Um, they, uh, it's called infrasound. It's below our level of hearing, but they can feel the vibrations in their feet. So as large as they are they actually quite agile if you saw them earlier they can roll around and they're uh, they're quite agile and very sensitive they hear well and uh, their feet they can they have uh, great control over their their body positions and things so so what do these animals eat they eat grain and hay uh, straw and hay we give them straw and hay and then fruits and vegetables and breads and, and part of the grains or, or breads and things that will that will feed to them and we give them treats they actually one of the things that grows in abundance here at the zoo is bamboo and it's something that we give them as an enrichment and enrichment is something that we do to keep the animals healthy and happy and ensure their well-being and they actually love bamboo they'll use it I like to use call them elephant sized toothpicks they'll crack them with their trunks and they'll chew them with their mouths uh, they eat tree bark and tree limbs and uh, tree branches so a very high fiber diet for elephants tell me about their trunk well, their trunks are fascinating. It's something that attracts us. It's one of the first things that we notice about elephants. And it's a very fascinating uh, feature of elephants. They couldn't survive without their trunks. They're um, essential to their, um, to their uh, feeding, uh, to their drinking, to their uh, daily care. They communicate with them, with each other. Um, they wrap, them, wrap trunks around each other and communicate, like shaking hands or hugs. Um, they drink and they uh, eat with them. They'll pick up food. Uh, they drink into their trunks but not through their trunks that would be like us drinking through our noses they draw water up into it about five gallons or so and squirt it into their mouths um, and they actually have one of the fascinating things is uh, a question I'll ask here at the zoo is they have very fine motor skills they can pick a leaf off of a tree and they can also uproot trees and snap tree limbs in half the number of muscles that allows them to do that uh, I'll ask for guesses as to how many muscles are in an elephant's trunk and what we get is uh, numbers in hundreds, 50, 100, sometimes one. It's actually 40,000 or more. So fascinating features of elephants and they're wonderful soulful creatures with the big beautiful eyelashes and the very soulful eyes. Aww. Thank you John. What a fun day with elephants at the zoo. I'm Carly Williams and this is Carly's Critters on Kid Time TV. What is a thunderstorm? What causes rumbling thunder? And what is lightning? Thunderstorms are produced by cumulonimbus clouds. They're the really big fluffy clouds that we see in the sky. Thunderstorms are usually here in the summertime, but it's not uncommon to have a thunderstorm occur in the wintertime. There's a weather term called thundersnow, meaning there's thunderstorm going on while it's snowing outside. Here are the ingredients to make a thunderstorm. First, you need moisture to form in the clouds and rain. That's humidity. Then you need unstable air that is relatively warm. Finally, you need lift. Lift can form from wind, sea breezes, and mountains. Again, thunderstorms can occur at any time, but they're most likely to occur in the spring and summertime, in the afternoon, in the evening, or at nighttime hours when we're all asleep. Did you know that there are an estimated 1,800 thunderstorms that occur across our planet every day? That's a lot. We all know that during a thunderstorm, we see lightning and hear thunder, but what are they? Lightning is a bright flash of electricity produced by a thunderstorm. Lightning is an electric current, believe it or not. It's like the electricity that powers our TVs, our lights, and our other essential items. Thunder, on the other hand, is caused by lightning when lightning travels from the sky to the ground. It makes noise, believe it or not. The thunder we hear is the lightning traveling. Cool, huh? The National Weather Service does a great job at keeping us safe during a thunderstorm. They issue watches and warnings, which helps us keep us safe and saves many lives. Okay, so what is your name? Leah. Leah, hey. What can I make for you today? A reindeer. A reindeer, <laughs> okay. And you have any special reindeer you'd like me to make? Yeah. A Rudolph, okay, great. So first we'll make his little nose. And then my little reindeer, he, there's antlers. How many antlers do we usually have? Two. Two, okay. So I use five bubbles. Can you do this? No? 
Me neither. Oh yeah, I, I can do it. Let's see. So that's that's one antler. We got one antler done. Yeah. And now we're gonna make another antler. And we've got three, four, five. Okay, so how are we doing so far? Good. Does that look so, pretty much like a reindeer? It is pretty yeah. close, isn't it? Yeah. So what is Rudolph's last name? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> no, and everybody just knows him. It's like Cher. You know, he just has one one name. Okay, so what's missing? There's something missing. He's, he's, just, right he's just like an ordinary reindeer, isn't he? Yeah, it has red nose. Okay, let's see if we can find... Oh I, oh, I just happen to have a red nose right here. All right, so let's put a red nose on him. Can you sing the Rudolph song for me? Rudolph the red nose reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you had a baseball thing, you would even say it glows. It does glow, doesn't it? Okay, well there's Rudolph. Let's see, let's see what he looks like. There he goes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Knock, knock. Who's there? Rain. Rain who? Rain, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. There's a donkey. It has to get across the river. There's no bridge. He does not know how to swim. There's no, pe there's no boat and no people to help him. What does he do? I give up. So did the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when Mickey Mouse fell inside the bathtub? He came out squeaky clean. <laughs> what do you call a grizzly bear with no teeth? I don't know. A gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> How do you catch a squirrel? I don't know. Climb up a tree and act like a nut. <laughs> <laughs> okay.